Yeah, I'm not surprised. My first thought was actually the liches myself. Well, that's unfortunate. Unsheathed blade, ramping mammoth, rampaging mammoth, airbound barrage, Nyx and Nyx, Princess Juliet, Pollux, and Koholin. Pollux, I barely remember. Oh, that makes more sense now. Caster and Pollux, then. Hmm? And Koholin. I don't like you. Oh, woo! I want to see the 4D legendary deck. That's what I want to see. All right, so who wants to guess if this is Earthrite or Burn or D-Shift? I'm okay with this hand. I like this hand. Chairs of joy, I've arrived. Control blood loses so much with rotation, though. Yeah, I guess. Oh, good. It's Earthrite. So, next turn is probably Baphomet, just to have a little bit on the board. Do some early trading. Let's see, it's Earthrite. Pat yourself on the back and take your free win. Excuse me? Uh, I never win, so free wins are never wins. Have you already pay, uh, played the 20 free match? No, I have not. I thought it was 10. And also, uh, Chuvicello, I have only played, I think, like, five of them? So, whew, no. Cool. I'm willing to just let this stack up for now. Let's see. Uh, now the choice is Fame Serpent, which I don't really want to do. Blood Pact, which I think I'm going to end up doing. Or um, Vampiric Kiss. So, um, benefits of the Blood Pact is I'll get closer to Vengeance, and I will also dig in my deck a little bit, which would be nice, considering that I can do a power play if I do that. Plus, I can remove it next turn. Serpent, since he gets the heal regardless. Okay. You know what? I'm going to run with it then. I will take your advice. Uh, though we use one red hot already. Yep, but that means that he probably doesn't have the second one in his hand. And um, I'm okay with just soaking it. Let's see. Next turn, though, is probably going to be blood packed into Hungering Horde or Vampire Kiss. Not sure, but... That's fine by me. I'll play Vite into that. Actually, hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about this one. I think it may be just Hungering Horde. I like keeping Hungering Horde in case they get an army of uh, golems, which gives me pretty much free reign on that. But if I play down Vite, my hope is that he'll either remove it and go face... Or just hit it and I'll have a 1-1 one, one to do something with. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. Alright, well, if you're not going to save it for the golems, then I will again accede. Okay, we'll pull it off this one. That makes it look like we do not have that card in our hand. So... Um, in that case, he should question if I've got a lot of late game, which makes him think removal, which is fine, but also should make him think that I should, uh, yeah, not play into field wipes, which is super fine. We're just going to play down wardrobe raider raw and just let him rock it because that gives me a pretty much fine deal. Uh, actually, no. Blood pact into fang serpent. Let's see. Burn doesn't really play too many golems and horde doesn't kill Levi. Okay. Yep. So, let's see. I'm going to Blood Pact again. And this time, I'd rather play Vite. Cheers of joy, I've arrived. Cheers of joy, I've arrived. Oh, Chupacello, that's a delightful thing. That's a good way to play. 
And hey, if you want to play me afterwards, you can try against the deck that you should know pretty intimately. Oh yeah, especially in between turns and stuff. Woo! That's a card. Alright, so we're going to go for... Let's see. Options, options, options. Let's see. Scarlet Sabreur. I may do the Evolve play because it gets rid of everything, which is quite nice. Uh, I could also go for just Kiss and Hunger, which will get rid of this guy. Um, leaves me two remaining. Let's see. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. There's one argument for saving Pact in case he plays around Vengeance. Already nine. You can activate it yourself. Scarlet Clear. It's pretty early. Yeah. That's okay, though. I think I'm going to go for the Scarlet play. Because other than that, the only other thing I could do is Wardrobe Raider. And I think I'd rather just do this. Hey! But the good news is, if he plays Levi, he doesn't really do all that much. Which is good for me. So... Dance of Death. Okay. That's a lot of mana to do not all that much. Now I'm going to play... Um, I, I don't like that card in existence. So we're going to kiss it. I'm going to say I'm going to kiss it and then play down a Wardrobe Raider because I don't really need the Wardrobe Raider. So we're going to just go... Yeah, bam. Bam. There we go. Let's see. If he levies, you can just Esmeralda. Yeah. Yep, that was my plan. So. Hey, Star Phoenix. Sup? Bye. Piercing. Guessing piercing. Nope. Commence experiment. Get that back. Play it again. Yep. Yeah. I don't really have a way to deal with it cleanly, so that's okay. So. Uh, I think nothing. I genuinely think the answer is to do nothing. Because I don't need to do anything. So I could just play Fang Serpent, but it'll just die for free, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, good thing I have Prince. I uh, got a copy of Belphegor so we can play Control Blood Mirror. Ooh, yours will be better than mine. Since he's playing it nice and slow. So my choice is to either do nothing. Alright, I'll go for the Serpent play. Because I was going to just do literally nothing. Because he'll kill that for free. And I may just drop uh, Prince on 10. Hey, Levi. And let's eat it. I'm actually going to eat it with Saber. Not Esmeralda. So we're going to just go Saber. And kiss it. Now, here's the thing. Let's see. He spends three mana killing Serpent. Then it's three mana he's not playing on other stuff. Yeah, but he already demonstrated that he's going roll slow. And this, to me, is great. Yeah, sure. Fine. Soak it up. To be of. That, I think, was interesting, but all right. Hey, okay. Now, hold on. Tam, what do we think about dropping Prince of Darkness? Because I'm thinking about dropping a Prince of Darkness. Because that gives me some stellar plays, and I have a lot of life. So, we're going to give this a minute to have the response from Tam. But I'm pretty sure my play is just, drop Prince, go, like, fight me. I now have Prince. Um, so, this is uh, becoming the play. Uh, let's see. Other than that, options are clear, which I think is a terrible idea. I can play Hungering Horde on the 4-3. Um, I don't think that's that great. I can play down a Labyrinth, Devil, and that. Alright, we're going Prince. Whee! <laughs> Ooh, fight and me. You can uh, Revelations or Drain if he doesn't play around Vengeance. Yeah, I hope. But more than likely... Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, please Evo and hit me. Oh my god. Oh, do it, please. 
It smells like vengeance. All right, uh, we're going to Hungering Horde. Yeah, we're going to Hungering Horde the 0-2. Then I'm going to play either D's Damnation on the face and hit him in the face, which gets him down substantially. Let's see. Uh, Prince force him to start going aggro. Yep. And that's why I'm doing this. So I really think the play is D's Damnation the face. So uh, I also think I'm going to Hungering Horde this, the 0-2. Hit him in the face for 13. Uh, 13, not 15. And then play down Diabolic Drain to kill the other one. No, I don't have that much mana. I guess just D's Damnation to Hungering Horde. And just face. What? D's dat face yo. <laughs> Trust me, that's the plan. Hey, we've got 19 health, which is a lot. Yeah, and trust me, that's why that was the plan. That's why I did an Evo and why I set him exactly to 7. So, come on. You had me at Vengeance. Now, I am at 19. Come on. Fight me. Hashtag fight me. Yep, Evo that into my 6-4. Yup. Yep. Uh-huh. 4-3 goes face. Cool. 4-3 goes face. Now. Come on! Come on! Woo! We did it! Impressive. Like hey! Uh, all skill? <laughs> well, Chubacello, whenever you're ready, I have my secret weapon uh, in my deck now <laughs> on that side. And it's sad that control usually happens. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry, Tam. We already jumped into this for now. Perhaps after it. But let's see what we can do against uh, this. Um, no Mask of the Black Death. I want Hungering Horde. I think Labyrinth Devil will be fantastic, but I don't know if I want it over a lower drop. So I'm going to keep it for now. Oof. I don't think my gamble paid off. All right. So the hope is that I don't get overwhelmed. But it looks like I might. So turn two is blood packed always. Okay, Dark, no worries. Hmm. I also have my really old vengeance deck. That's good. I need to blood packed. That's unfortunately vital. So here we're gonna play Vite instead of Fang Serpent if he plays the two one ones thing. If he plays the two a two damage guy like this. Oof. I may play down the other one. Actually, no. Vite is still worthwhile. Vite. Cheers of joy, I've arrived. Cheers of joy, I've arrived. Okay, Tam. I mean, I'd be pleased as punch to play it. Yeah, fight it. Fight it. Hashtag fight me. Kill them all. This time, we're still going to play Vite, because I want extra 1-1s. Cheers of joy, I've arrived. Cheers of joy, I've arrived. We're going to have to sting something with Scarlet Saber, I'm pretty sure. But that's okay. A-okay -okay by me. I shall overcome all. <laughs> oh, bye, Vite. Really? All right. Stinging it with Scarlet Saber, it is. Wow. This is doing a decent amount of control. I, I did not believe, but I'm believing now. Dance of Death. Oh, oh you smell that? That's the smell of losing tempo. Now... I am going to leave 
I'm gonna play Mask of the Black Death and Wardrobe. No, I'm gonna play Wardrobe, uh, Blood Pact, and then Wardrobe Raider. I'm okay with the going down to Azazel. Here's a neat tip. What's up? I will wait for the neat tip from Tam. Let's see. I'm probably gonna go Blood and then Wardrobe Raider. Because, let's see. You can Evo Wardrobe Raider and Empty Board to still gain two health. Yep. But I don't want to do that. That will work. So. After this, I'm probably going to try to get space for Mask of the Black Death. And then we're going to play uh, Labyrinth Raider. I wonder if, uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Sure. All Hungry Horde and Fanged Serpent, I think. Ooh. I think I'm still going to play the Hungering Horde to kill this off. And then we're going to play Vite. And I think I'm still going to play Mask of the Black Death. So we'll just let it go. Fenrir is really good here. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, trust me, I actually remembered as soon as you said it, but my apologies. Okay, Chiva Jalil, you'll have to wait until this match is done, I'm afraid. You'll never touch Amelia. You still won't touch Amelia. But you won't touch Amelia. <laughs> Alright, probably Fenrir after this or Labyrinth Demo. I'm not sure which yet. Okay. This always happens. Now, I cannot clear everybody, but I can clear if I do the Labyrinth Devil, I can play down a Fang Serpent. If I play Fenrir, I can only clear two of them. And because I'm that defensive about my prospects, I would really like to play both of these. And no worry, it's Chuvicello. Well, Devil is controlled. That's true, I'm just really terrified, because if I play down Fenrir, I cannot play down Fang Serpent, and if we get a visit from his lord and savior, Albert, I'm pretty terrified. But, alright, let's give it a go. You're an eyesore! You're an eyesore. Okay. So let's see, and no worries, Chirovicello, my deck's not really that good, so I don't think it's that bad. It's just if I manage to draw Prince of Darkness, then my deck gets better. Oh man, I love that card. Okay, so I take three to my face. Okay. So now we're going to play down two fang serpents actually no we're just going to play down azazel because that's way better in my opinion except against darn it uh against one card and unfortunately it's the one card i gotta watch out for so we're gonna swarm the board let's see you can heal to 10 if you really wanted to i know but the problem is if i do that against his lord and savior albert i just die so if I play down two Fang Serpents and Baphomet, I do not die to uh, Albert. It's close, but I don't die. So we're going to go with that play. And we're going to play down Fang Serpents. And we're saving my Evolve Point. Yep. Don't worry. I did. I saved that Evo Point and I played Baphomet first. Now I've got four healing on the board, and nicely enough, Hero of Antiquity. Okay, I'm going to have to play Azazel and evolve it in, which is okay. I'm okay with Azazel not healing me. Well, this first.
Hooray! Trust me, I know. And now there's lethal on the board. Whee! Funny how that happens. Now I still die versus his lord and savior. Woo! It was not there! Woo! Alright. Now, Chupacello, if you are still around, I would be more than happy to play you. Because I did say to you first.